Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Monique, and I am back today with another video. In today's video, I will be showing y'all how I install my lace frontal wig. And, yeah, y'all ready to see how I get into this look? It's because it's coming. Don't mind me. It's coming. Don't mind these in the background. It's 3 p.m. and he's barking at dogs outside. So, ignore that. Stay tuned. This is the wig that I um, bleached the knots on previously in the video before. I think, when I put that video out, I think it came out like beginning of the week. The video that I put out beginning of the week, this is the same wig. And I um, put like a little black rinse on it to make it a little darker. It was too much of a natural brown for me. So yeah, let's get into it. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. Come on, get it ready, get it ready. So first, okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this extra lace off, this excess lace. The extra lace gotta go. So I'm gonna take my brush and brush the hair at the back so I won't end up chopping all my hairs off as I'm cutting the lace. Just a regular pair of scissors or whatever you got. That's what I forgot to buy me some new hair scissors at the store. I don't know where mine is. I just left the music plus story out. So I'm just going to take this and cut the lace. You're going to cut as close to the hairline as possible. Some people don't. I do. You know what? Let's use this. I'm gonna take a TPN, put it in the top so it's easier for me to cut. And yeah, just cut as close to the hairline or your preference. I do leave a little bit on the side. That's just my preference. Just a little extra lace here. Okay, so here is the lace. This I actually cut it off. As you can see, I still have a little bit, but not too much. I'm nine times out of ten, I'm going to end up clipping that little piece off after I apply it or after I see how it looks on my head. I did keep a little piece on the side, just a little piece. Or, you know, a little razzle dazzle. You feel me? Okay. So, now that's done. Let me spit my gum out. I love gum, y'all. Like, I chew gum, like, all day. That was hard for me. Okay, so I'm going to take my Got To Be Glue, the Invisible Styling Gel in black. The black one works the best. And mind you, I use this because I don't keep my wigs on for that many days. I keep it on for probably like two days, two, three days max usually. Um, so I'm just gonna take this a little bit on my hand, my finger, and I'm going to apply that on my edges. Cause I'm gonna use this to slick, kind of like gel my edges down in a way. Mind you, I have on this stocking cap now, but I would not wear this. I would not be wearing this stocking cap. At least I don't think I want to. And I'm not, I'm not gonna wear it. No stocking cap. So just apply this on your edges. And you can take like a brush, a toothbrush. Whichever one you prefer, y'all got like the little small edges brush, which I do not. Maybe I should definitely get one. Next time I go to this, I start making the list. I do have an old toothbrush. Here it is. I'm just gonna take this and like slick your edges back. Slick those edges with that got to be. Of 
clearly my hair is natural. It's gonna curl up a little bit, like how that side did. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, did that. It's gonna blow dry it really quick. On low. Okay, so with that being done, I'm just gonna take some more, squeeze it out. Clearly I'm running low, I need to go get me the bigger bottle again. I use that for a carry-on. So now I'm just gonna take this and apply this above on my hairline where I wanna place my wig. So as you can see, I'm putting it right in front on my hairline. Oh, okay. I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry this as well. I'm going to put it on cool. And you don't want to dry it completely. Just a little more. Blow dry again. On high. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my Gossip Eagle spray. Y'all know that I like to use this. The free spray. The Blasting Free Spray. Screaming hole for hair. Find us at Walgreens, same as Ellen, Walgreens, Kroger, CVS. This stuff is everywhere, literally. They have more products as well. This is the only thing I use. So I'm going to take this and spray this right on top of where I put the, the gel. Blow dry that before I run down your face. Right to the bizzack. Taking my pants out of my wig. My wig does have combs on the inside, so it's easier to apply as well. Have a little loose laces. I need to clip off. Okay. So my wig also has the adjustable straps in it. So I'm gonna tighten those up a little bit. So it can be secure, secure. And it has a comb in the back. My wig actually has four combs, three in the front and one in the back. So I'm just gonna take this. Ooh wee, chat. Kinda put it on the back of my head like that. So it's easy to pull up from the front. Don't mind my facial expressions, y'all. I make crazy faces. Whew. All right. Make sure it's adjusted right for your side piece. I'm gonna take my glasses off so y'all know I can't see. So I'm gonna have to move a little closer. Hopefully y'all can see. See how I do this. this I know the light is kind of bad. I'll get the gist. 
And I'm just gonna take my wig and pull it right over where I applied the product where I want my wig to lay. I haven't really put too much product on my edges, on the side pieces, because I want to do those last to make sure they are completely in place. So now I have the wig on. I haven't like pressed it in or anything. I just put it on top, so I'm going to blow dry a little bit. take like this little comb to a little to press the wig in So now that that is on, sort of kind of, I'm going to do the edges and then I can go from there. I'm going to do the same thing to the edges that I did to the front. Same for the other side. Okay, I'm back. I look like a boy head chicken. <laughs> I got to end the clip in the back um, at the moment. But yeah, I'm done gluing. And I need to wipe off like the little excess stuff or whatever. Yeah. I'm honestly just going to take a makeup wipe. And just wipe across if you have any extra glue or product. I don't have any alcohol, guys, so don't judge me. So, yeah, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Ew. Watch out now. It's the little one, and I'm not bow wow. Okay. Mind you, my hair is still wet. So I'm going to, usually I will let my hair air dry, but I don't have that much time. So I'm just going to blow dry it out lightly. It's not too wet, it's like a little damp. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back back. I'm back back. And we should be good to go. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. So this hair is already like a straight unit, so it's not like too many kinks and, you know, waves to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by, flat iron's already on, flat iron. Yes, I really do flatter my hair like this, so do not judge me. I don't have time to sit there and go piece by piece. Like, and I can get the job done like this. Yeah. 
You see, I can get the job done like that. It's getting done, don't you see? Can't you see? Pottoon yet? Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron this throughout and I'll uh, show y'all when I'm done flat ironing what's next. <laughs> So now I'm going to pull this side back and let's put a little bit of hair to the front like this. I told you I don't mind my facial expression while I'm doing my hair. I just tend to be like that forever. I make some weird faces. Clip that back. I'm going to take my little razor comb. Diesel. Get out. I always put it on my bathroom. I'm going to take this and it doesn't matter the side. Got it from the beauty spot store like $2.99, $3.99, something like that. I'm just gonna cut a little bit. Just like a little. You see? Not too much though. I didn't do too much. I'm not really too fond of baby hairs all the time, but hey, let's see what it, let's make it do what it do. Okay, guys, let's see. You never know. Some days I'm in the mood, some days I'm not. Famous name is toothbrush. A little bit more of this to keep it nice. Keep it on there for a few days. I actually put on my brush instead. Okay, come on. Thank you, ma. Make your beauty shine. Definitely messed it up now. Ah, <laughs> messed it up, y'all. Fail. Epic fail. Hate it. Combed all that right away. Combed that back off. We're going to try this again. We're going to try this one more time. So, yeah, like a little baby hair like this is all I usually do. Um, nothing like all over the whole front. That's just not me. Or I'll probably do like two. I'll probably do another one on the other. Two on each side, but that's all I'm going to do. I 
But guys, this hair is like so soft. I love it. The lace is great. Yeah, I'm, I'll let y'all know how it goes. Mm, maybe not. Something light, not why would that some light, not too much, you know. You can use the spray as well. I know people that use the spray as well, or people that spray it after. That's better. I guess. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think about my baby hair. Tell me how I could fix my baby hair. Tell me that. How about that? I lost my part and everything else. Playing with some god dang on baby hairs. I've never wanted to weave this little. I feel like this looks crazy on me. But anyways, guys. Anyways, I would like to thank y'all for watching my videos. I want to thank y'all for coming to my channel. Please subscribe to this video. This is the lace front wig that I bleached the knots on the other day, and now I have installed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to write me on Instagram. My Instagram is I am Ariel Monique. Twitter is the same name. Snapchat, same name all across all social medias except for Facebook. Um, I'm not really on Facebook, so if you want to write me, Twitter and Instagram is the best way to get in contact with me or comment under this video. But make sure you guys thumbs this video, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bells on. And yeah, I want to thank y'all. I'm going to give y'all a closer look. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. This is it. The finished look. Thank you guys.